I won't ask for the Friday night. And uh, <coughs> let me ask you, does everybody know my name? No. Who are you? Raise your hand if you know me. <coughs> wow. Okay. So, my name is Mikhail Savin. I'm from 4902 BDA group. And today I want to present you a little presentation about um, OLED displays. So first of all, what is OLED? Anyone? Any ideas? <coughs> yes? Organic light emitting diode. <coughs> sure. <laughs> That's the right answer. But what are those? Just run four words or what? Let me show you. So this is the basic structure, not the uh, actual working system, but the structure, the layers of the OLED uh, display. Is this image clear? Yes? Okay, I'll ask it one more time. Is this image clear? No? Okay, that's the right answer. Because actually, uh, this is the worst image I found on the internet about the OLED structure. Do you know how can I make this presentation, uh, make this slide even worse? Any ideas? No. Show, Show us, us the black screen. Say it louder. Show us the black screen. The black screen. No. How how do you transform the elements so that the, uh, the slide becomes worse? Any ideas? Maybe. Yes. You're raising your hand. No. Come on. Any suggestion? How do I make this worse? Lower the resolution of the picture. <laughs> yes. Make the background black. The background black. <laughs> it's already kind of black. It's actually a gradient, but okay. The black mm, isn't bad because uh, the text is white and it's contrast. You see everything. Okay. I've made it worse. First of all, let's throw out this beautiful image and instead use my hand sketches. <laughs> this is much cleaner, right? Then, uh, of course, we need to use the best font ever. What's this? Best font that you all use in the reports? Times New Roman. Times New Roman, yeah. Look at this. This is beautiful text. And we need to choose a proper color so that no one will ever <laughs> see this. Right? But we live in 2019, as the, uh, my colleague said. We need to lower the, res uh, the resolution because I don't want my presentation to be 20 megabytes. I want it to be 18 megabytes. Right? Look at this. Whoa! Come on. Save our planet. Compress all the images. And the most important, important thing, you should include the figure and the number of the figure because you will never understand that this is a figure and it's the first in our presentation. Right? And of course, Times New Roman, the best color, you get it. Right? So what's the structure? The structure is like this. Much more interesting. And I think everybody on the back seats uh, seeing the image and the uh, namings. So first of all, we are going from back to front, is the case. The case is uh, like uh, your smart smartphone or uh, your laptop, your monitor, whatever. And then comes the glass. But uh, it can be a plastic, right? Why can't we use the plastic instead of glass? Yes? Maybe plastic will be heated much more faster than glass. Heated? Heated. You want your screen to be heated, right? No. Oh. <laughs> because in Latvia winters are cold and you can just place your hand on the screen and warm up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's not correct. The plastic is used in foldable displays. 
right? Like Galaxy Fold, the most terrible phone I've ever seen. The Xiaomi Mix Alpha and desktop that can be fold because the glass can be fold, it will crack. The next thing is TFT, thin film transistors. Actually, this layer is powering up our uh, screen. Then we have an anode, which uh, transfers the uh, signal from through the organic layers to the cathode, and then we get our image on the cover glass. That's the structure of OLED. What other types of screens do we use? LCD. Does anyone know who, what is LCD? Yes. Yeah. Liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal display, that's right. Once again, is this image clear? No. 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 Right. And this? Better. Okay, much better. The case, then the backlight, a polarized filter, again, then film transistors, liquid crystals, color filter, the polarized filter, once again, and the color glass. What's the difference between an LCD and the OLED? What is presented here that is not presented in the OLED structure? Liquid, liquid glass? glass. Liquid glass. Liquid liquid glass. Liquid. Yes. What Back else? Light, yeah. Backlight. That's right. This is the reason why you get uh, not black, but uh, a little bit gray color on the LCD when you turn the brightness to the zero. Because the screen is constantly uh, lightened by the backlight. That's why you never get true black color on the LCD. So once again, you can take a picture if you want, because all the graphics are from myself. Okay, so what's that phone right there? IPhone. Very expensive phone. Very expensive phone, yeah. Useless. Actually, <laughs> not, not very, but uh, much expensive, yeah. So what's the name? Do you know? iPhone 10. 10. Not quite. Exactly. 10R, yes. You can flip it over to see that it's XR or 10R. So what happens when uh, actually this phone is with LCD display? The Apple call it liquid retina something. It's LCD, right? Uh, the working uh, current for the display is uh, around 3.5 volts. When we get the 3.5 volts uh, into the display, the brightness is set to 100%. When we lower the brightness for the LCD, we actually lower the voltage and the screen gets dimmed. What happens if we do the same with the OLED uh, display? And why you never actually lower the brightness on the OLED? If we lower the current that is uh, passed through the display, you get something like this. All the colors are switched to the greenish, bluish, something uh, called the distortion, or displacing all the colors. And actually, uh, when we get the 100% brightness. This is what we get from OLED. When we lower the brightness to the 50%, you actually get this. Not good, right? But you see the gray color. You see that the brightness is 50%. And I will show you why you see this. Because the previous video was playback at uh, 60 FPS, right? So that's why you can distinguish the full brightness and the no brightness. On your phone or on any OLED, uh, OLED display, this switching to 100% uh, and 0% is happening at uh, uh, 220 Hz, like uh, 220 times an, uh, a second. That's why you don't uh, see this, but your eyes see. Let me show you a little graph. On a 
other percent, you get constant 3.5 volts on your display. So how do we uh, lower the brightness? Actually, on OLED, you never lower the brightness because the colors are going to be green and blue and something like that. So instead, the engineers from Samsung, I believe, invented this method. It's called uh, period method. When your screen actually is uh, on a half time and off the other half time. And they are switching constantly. You remember, 220 times a second. So that's why you see that your screen is dimmed, but actually it's always on the 100% brightness. It's just switching from 100 to 0. And as you can expect, 25% is 25% of the period your screen is active, and the 75% is off. And this um, kind of behavior is called shimmer. You can Google it, and uh, you'll find almost no sources regarding the shimmer. Why? Let me show some video. There's three phones. The Google Pixel, 3 XL, I believe. The Galaxy Note 8, and I will tell the last one in a minute. Through your camera, by lowering the shutter speed, you can clearly see the shimmer. And uh, when I, for the first time, saw this, I was just scared because it's happening all the time. You're uh, watching your phone almost seven hours a day, approximately. So what's that phone? This is the OnePlus, OnePlus 7. And uh, it's not shimmering. It's not shimmering on the 50%. That's good because you can always uh, turn your brightness to the 50% and you'll never experience some bad uh, behavior. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you saw from the next uh, slide, I mentioned Samsung. Why? Because uh, Samsung is the uh, most, is the biggest <laughs> manufacturer of OLED panels. All the smartphones are using uh, Samsung OLED panels. Even the iPhone, the iPhone 10, 10 uh, S, the 11 Pro series are all with the Samsung OLED panels. But there's uh, a theory that uh, OLED displays from Samsung are the best on the market, right? Everyone will agree. And uh, the reason why is that uh, is that. All, uh, all it displays from Samsung start shimmering from 97% of brightness. You just lower your brightness to the 95% in, and you already get the shimmer. And this trick allows Samsung to have uh, most bright saturated colors on their screens. And this is the reason why their displays are called the best on the market. Uh, you may wonder why aren't all the other phones have the same behavior if uh, Samsung produces all the OLED uh, displays? Well, uh, the reason is, because, uh, is that uh, any, uh, every manufacturer, when uh, contacting Samsung to produce the OLED displays, uh, they can configure all the characteristics and uh, they configure that, uh, for example, of uh, OnePlus on the 50% they actually want shimmer but they will lower the voltage by one half and that's why the OnePlus at the 50% brightness isn't shimmering but uh, that's about OnePlus and uh, I think everyone here who has an iPhone? Raise your hand. 
who has an iPhone 10. Okay. Then S. Okay, so the 10 series are suffering from this also. Who uh, has a Samsung? Okay, many of you are with glasses. Hmm, why? Huawei? Mm -hmm. Okay, one girl with glasses also. Hmm, why? So I hope that you now understand why the OLED panels are actually bad for your eyes. And uh, maybe some of you know why are we switching from the halogen, uh, halogen bulbs to the LED bulbs? Does anyone know? Yes? Why? They're more power efficient. More power efficient? Not quite. The but they are. Different. Any ideas? Do you know what a halogen bulb is? No? Yes? It has halogen inside. And the reason why are we switching to the LED bulbs is that the halogen bulbs actually are shimmering. And uh, we can't distinguish this, but our eyes can. That's why when you're preparing um, your homework or watching uh, YouTube on your phone, after an hour, your eyes start to um, suffer from pain. I don't get this because what? Yeah, I don't get this behavior because I uh, make a 20 second break every 20 minutes. But the second reason is because I use the iPhone 7 and the MacBook Air. They are both with the LCD. I never watched an OLED panel. Thanks God. And uh, I hope that you. Someday you will be switching from OLED to LCD because uh, you are paying with your health to see the brighter image. Thanks for your attention.